So this is the point I touched yesterday at the end of um, yesterday. Paula picked me up, she's just dropped me back. So I am going to touch the little sides like I did yesterday and start the day off today. Um, having Paula here enabled me to do Colonial Knob with Nielsen Estrid yesterday and it took two hours 20 and that's two hours 20 I don't have to do today which is just so good. I didn't think it'd take that long and it was just a really big climb, um, very strenuous and then a long downhill so really pleased I got that done yesterday it's really reduced the amount of time I'm going to have to spend getting into Wellington CBD today so I think I've only got about 23 24 k's to do now and um, that's a real bonus I do have a climb Mount Carcal and um, that's coming up in about seven eight nine k's time but it's road walking in between had I not done Colonial Lab yesterday I would have started with a huge climb immediately so win 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 score I love the name of that road. Just as we um, get the first car of the day passing me up to two k's. Nice little golf course here too. That's quite a few golf courses. I'm trying to remember the, the main one I passed on the way to Huntley from Hungary. I think it was Huntley Golf Course too. Um, a few playing already. It's quite remote here too. That's not the first telephone box that comes across this one's driveway. The Wellington Bird Re Rehabilitation Trust. Lots of video cameras. Gosh. Uh, a very small little cemetery next door. Almost on someone's private property. A lovely little view of the valley I've just climbed up on the road there. Just past those two people there shortly while ago. They're making their way down. Wind farming over there. Nice and quiet around here on the old coach road. So I just walk over the top of the hill, and that really surprises me. I thought we were straight into a housing estate. How bizarre is that? I think that's Sheffield Park. Might be wrong. It is amazing this, I'm heading towards the top of the mountain here and I've got these little signposts saying that you've got these little bits and pieces that are only 15 minutes away in suburbia. Just got Avenue 15 minutes away, amazing. Just got to the top of Mount Coco. Great views of the CBD, look how close we are. I think my journey now takes me years ago. Gosh, it's close now. This is Mac the dog, Jason and Jane, and they've just been chatting to me at the top of Mount Coco. Is it pronunciation? Coco. Coco. Um, and they've just been giving me a bit of um, gen on the trip into Wellington CBD, which happens right now. Just past the wind farm there, it's absolutely incredible that the South Island looks so close from here. It really is. Off the bells track now, which brought me down from Mount Coco. And heading through the streets of Nayo from the suburbs of Wellington. You just gotta keep the app out all the time now just to make sure I don't get lost in, this, in the roads. Definitely going the right way at the moment though. Heading through the northern walkway now. Takes me off the streets slightly. Although the suburbia is really obvious to my left. Very pleasant. Especially in the early days of January when everyone's still on public holiday. Going down a little section called Torlisic Park at the moment. This is the back of Waystown in Nio. I never even knew it existed. And well, it's very close to Wellington um, suburb of Waystown, which is very close to Wellington Central. Very impressed. And again, I used to live in Waystown and I never knew this existed. Northern 
Pembroke Way, just um, gone through Wade's Town, bumped into a guy, Roger, who um, has done Tiaro before. Um, really nice chatting with him, get some good little tips from people, it's always nice to chat. Good view of Lower Hut in the distance there. And these pathways are very, very quiet. Takes you off the main drag, um, takes you through the, you know, the suburbia belt, I guess, and off the roads. It's been really cool this morning. It's been a bit of climbing, but um, enjoyed the day. Just a few moments later, just um, come around the corner and you've got the CBD directly ahead now. So I'm just a hop, skip and a jump away. And a great view of the, um, the cake tin, as it's affectionately known. other events too. And the Northern Walkway continues to impress as we approach Wales in Central. Beautiful. Shaded too. On a hot day like today, that makes a difference for me. Slowly working my way down now to the CBD. There's the motorway just below. I think it heads to a tunnel just there. Wellington Botanical Gardens. When my son was young, he was a baby. I was born here, not too far from here actually, and we used to spend a lot of time on the sound shell just here. So a beautiful part of Wellington. I'm going to stop and have a coke. Actually only 500 metres away from the 1700 metre mark, sorry, 1700 kilometre mark from Gatley Angus. Beautiful day to Wellington. I've just crossed the 1700 kilometre mark from Cape Rianga. There's no obvious sign there. It's actually quite tricky to follow the pathway here, actually, the Tierra Road pathway. Um, made it in the end, crossed the point. My app told me it was 1700 Ks. That's good enough for me. And this is the observatory, the commercial observatory. Oh man, I know these gardens reasonably well and it's so hard following the trail. I don't know how everyone else gets on. Well, probably one of the disadvantages of hiking on your own, I guess. He wasn't New Zealand's first Prime Minister, but he was um, considered, he was considered one of the best, actually. And he was born in the same hometown as me, in St Helens. It sort of says Eccleston Hill, which is a, like a, a part of St Helens. Um, and he died in 1906 while still in office, remarkably. So Richard John Seddon, King Dick, as he was known, and like myself, hails from St Helens and Merseyside, or Lancashire as it was then. Well, it's taken me through a cemetery, which I've been through many times. It's not like the residence of what I think it's Bowling Street Secondary Cemetery. Cemetery crossing the motorway. This is actually State Highway 1. And this takes me right into the business district to Bowen Street and then on to Lambton Quay. Terrace, I don't go up there, but that's, um, that's where I used to work over 25 years ago. Two different places. On the left hand side, is the New Zealand Parliament, the Beehive as it's known. Less than a kilometre to go now to tonight's accommodation. And I hope this doesn't sound boring because I've said it quite a few times trying to get monotonous. But I know this stretch so well. Walked down here so many times during my time in Wellington. Lived here between 97 and Oh, sorry, 99... Yeah, 97 to 99, that's right. Can't be Wellington sometimes, it's a great city. 